Hey Divination, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to creatively use symbols in your web design with Divi. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to load our coach layout pack. So uh, let's go ahead and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and uh, I'm going to name this page symbols. Then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder, use visual builder. So in this case, I'm going to use a pre-made layout. So I'm going to choose uh, the middle option and then I'm going to uh, search for my coach layout pack. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to load the page. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to load a row on my testimonials. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my uh, testimonials and it is um, right here. So I'm going to add a new row. So I'm going to click this plus button and add my row. Now let's make some adjustments to this row. So I'm going to go into the row settings and we need to make sure that this is set to full width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and I'm going to make this row full width. And then we're going to come over here to our gutter width and make sure that this is set to one. Okay. So let's go ahead and save. And next we need to add a text module. So I'm just going to search for it and select my text module. Right, so now that I have all my characters open, and uh, by the way, I'm using a Mac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for my symbols. So over here, you can see we have emojis, arrows, uh, bullets, and stars, and so on. So what I'm going to use uh, in this example is this little square. So I'm just going to add this by just double clicking on it. And then I'm just going to add a few. Okay, so once you've done the first line, uh, just make sure you have 20 dots. And then uh, what you want to do is to add two and have eight rows. Great. So now that we have all this set, now it's time to go to the text settings. So I'm going to come over here to design text and I'm going to come over here to my text size. So I'm going to make sure that my size is set to 100 pixels. And for the te text orientation, it needs to be set to left and uh, it, it, it is set by default. So that's great. So what you could also do here is uh, you could play around with the settings. So you can make um, the spacing even bigger, even the size. You can play around with the size here until you have it uh, to the correct size that you want. So it doesn't have to be 100. So it just depends with um, your design and how you want the outcome to be. OK, so now that we've added this, I'm going to come over here to my line height. And, and uh, if you take a note here, you can see that the line height is changing as well, which is great. So you have plenty of options to play around with to get your desired layout. So finally, we're going to push down the text module by adding a negative margin. So I'm going to come over here to margin. In fact, I'll search for it here so it's easier to find. So I'm going to add my margin to the bottom. So I'm going to add minus 200 like that. So sometimes minus 200 may not be enough. So you can just play around here with this dial and dial it until you get uh, everything in position. So in my case here, I have to uh, add a bit more, as you can see. And what I may want to do as well is to go back and adjust the size of these little squares. So I'm going to go back and just make it slightly smaller like that. But anyway, you get the idea. This is how you add your symbols to come up with a design like this. OK, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. OK, so in this example, we're going to uh, add another row. So. Um, I'm going to first of all delete the one that I've just created and add a brand new one. Right, so I'm going to click this plus button here to add my row. And for this, we're going to need a single column. So I'm not going to add my module as yet. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings. And as before, we need to make this full width. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing. I'm going to make it full width. And I'm also going to come over here to my gutter width and set this to one. And you may be wondering why I'm setting this to one. This is because I don't want any gaps on the sides as I add my designs into this row. OK, so now that I have that in place, I'm going to save. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to add some spacing. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing and I'm going to add a padding of 40 pixels to the left and the, I mean to the top and bottom. So I'm going to click here to activate this chain. And I'm going to add my 40 like that. So now it's been added to both my top and the bottom. So now it's time to add my text module. So I'm going to save this, click this plus button, and I'm going to search for my text module and add it. Okay, so now it's time to add my characters. So I'm going to start by adding this line. 
In fact, before I add this line, I need to uh, delete what I have here in my content area. Okay, so that's the line. And um, I'm also going to add the last part to it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do now is to add my symbols. So I'm going to add it like that. And then I'm just going to add the last part. Okay, so that's all I need to do. I'm just going to bring this back over here out of the way. And by the way, if you're wondering where I'm getting all my symbols from, it's from a website called coolsymbol.com. So all you have to do is to choose the symbol. And then if you click on it, it copies it to your clipboard. And then you can just paste it by going into your media area here. And then you can just paste it by adding it here onto your content area. Right, so now that we've added our symbol, the next thing we need to do is to add another row. So I'm going to come over here and add it below that single column. And in that column, we need to add a text module. Right, so for now, I'm just going to close uh, this text module and uh, make sure my settings are correct. So I'm going to go into my row settings and go into design, sizing, and make this full width as we did before with the other one. And we're also going to uh, set our gutter width to one, just like that. Okay, so for now, I'm going to save. Right, so the next thing we need to do here is to copy our symbol. So I'm going to copy it. Now, just making sure that the symbol that we're copying is the exact opposite of this one. So I'm going to go into my text modules, and then I'm going to paste my symbol in here, just like that. Now, we need to go into the design text, and our alignment needs to be set to right. So I'm going to set it like that. And then our size needs to be set at about 200, just so that it matches my other one. Okay, and then we need to also change the color. So I'm going to copy and paste my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use the color on the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so now we have a beautiful color there for the line height. I'm going to set this to 1 EM. So right now, as we can see, uh, these symbols are way over there to the left. So what we could do is we can actually resize the uh, width of the text module. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here and uh, go into sizing and uh, I'm just going to reduce this. So you can see as I reduce this, I can actually get this to position to wherever I want it to be. So I'm just going to leave it at about, uh, let's say 90 or even 80 like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and save and we can also do the same to the top one here. So I'm going to go into the settings design sizing and so i'm also going to do the same here but this time i'll set this to about 90 in fact maybe even 80 like that and then save okay so as we can see right now this uh, symbol is not close to this text on the bottom here so we can go ahead and adjust that by going into the text settings advanced and then click on spacing and then over here this is where we can uh, play around with our padding and we can just move this until we are happy with the positioning just like that. And then we can do this to the same, the same to the bottom, design, facing. Then we can just move this by adding a custom margin of minus 39. So that looks great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now, what you could also do is you can go in and duplicate these symbols and have them overlap and also add cool things like shadows and so on. Okay, so I'm going to save this for now and we're going to move on to our example three. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new row. So I'm going to click this plus button right here. Again, this is going to be a single column. And let's go in and adjust our width. So I'm going to go into my row settings, click on design, sizing, and then I'm going to make this full width. And also here on the gutter width, I'm going to set this to one. Okay, so let's go ahead and save because now it's time to add our symbol. So I'm going to click this plus button here and search for my text module. Select it. So let's get rid of this text for now. Okay, so I'm going to look for my symbols. So I'm going to copy it. And then back over here, I'm going to paste it twice like that. Now it's time to add some color to it. So I'm going to click here on my design tab. Click on text. And then over here on the color, I'm going to paste my value in here. And we're going to change our text size. So I'm just going to increase this. So let's try 200 and see if that works. Okay, so that looks, that looks big enough. And for our line height, I'm going to set this to 1 EM. And for our text orientation, I'm going to set this to center. Next, I'm going to add a, another text module. So I'm going to click this plus button just below this. And it's going to be the same as I have, which is the text module. So I'm going to go into the settings 
And this time I'm just going to get rid of one of the symbols. And for this one, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to paste my color in here. That. Now, finally, we need to go into our spacing and make sure that this is in position. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with my margin. And uh, I'm going to start with my margin top and drag it until I'm happy with the position. So I think that is okay. So this is minus 100. But uh, in your case, you can adjust it and uh, make sure that you have it at the right position. In fact, I may want to drag this up a little bit. That. So in my case, I think 120 will do. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go ahead now and save. And this is our final design. So as you can see, you can create really exciting stuff with these symbols. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be updated with new tutorials and live streams. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.